This is the uh, tutorial for uh, question one from the past paper 2011-2012. So let price denote the house price and dist denote the distance of the house from the nearest landfill site. Consider the model L price equals beta naught plus beta 1 L dist plus some error term E, where L price is the log of price and L dist is the log of this. A random sample of n equals 321 on L price and L this is observed and the following is obtained. So we've got a lot of um, a lot of numbers here and um, we're asked in, in question A to um, to show that the uh, OLS estimators are equal to these values. So the first thing to note is that we will have to um, use an alternative formula to the one that you've seen in the lecture. So the alternative formula is that beta 1 hat equals the sum of x over y minus n x bar y bar all over the sum of x over y minus x bar squared. The difference is in the numerator. Um, if you want to know more about how that uh, the original form is rearranged, um, I recommend you read Aldridge and I think the um, page is page number six nine seven. So, um, back to the question. So, one thing that isn't given in our data are the means, the respective means of x and y. So, first of all, let's find those out. x bar equals, um, as you know, the sum of xi over n. The sum of xi is 3158.6. n, our sample size, is 3. To one, so our uh, mean for x is given to be well, roughly given to be nine point eight four, and we do the same for y. Three six five three over three hundred twenty one. Is equal to um, roughly that would be equal to 11.3. Can't do these calculations roughly. Obviously, in the exam, I'd expect you to do them accurately to uh, some decimal places. So, okay, so we have the means there, and um, now we're looking to put them into the formula. So. We just plug them in. Beta 1 hat equals sum of xiy, which is given in the question to be 35969 minus n beta 1 times those means that we've just calculated. All over. The uh, total sum of squares uh, for x, which is this here. And the answer we get is 0 0.3261, which is what we, uh, um, which is required in the question. Beta naught hat is our standard way of doing this. This is y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar, which is equal to 11.38 um, minus 0 0.3261 times 9.84, which is equal to 8.1713 as required. 
So that's the first part of uh, question, uh, question A. Now the question also asks, um, write out the fitted model. So now we have those parameters uh, there. Um, then we can um, we can write out the fitted model. So the fitted model is is equal to L prime hat, and that is equal to eight point one seven. Plus naught point three two six L this. That's the fitted model. And then there's a little bit of uh, forecasting here. What level of L disk is needed to obtain um, a predicted level for L prime equal to eleven point three two one? Have here is if um, if L price so L price is equal to eleven point three eight, then that means that eleven point three eight equals eight point one seven one three plus zero point three two six L. Rearrange this. L disk equals eleven point three eight minus eight one seven one three divided by zero point three two six one, which gives us roughly nine point. So that is the distance, um, predicted level of distance there. Okay, so that's question A. Question B. Does your OLS estimate beta one hat have the expected sign? And we're also asked to interpret. So, question B, um, does it have the expected sign? Well, the expected sign, the sign is um, positive. The sign of beta 1 hat is positive. And that means that, that there is a, a positive relationship between the distance um, of your house and the house price. And that makes sense, I would say. Um, if it's best to look at this the other way, if um, uh, the house price is likely to fall if the um, if it is too close to the sun. So that makes sense. And we're asked to interpret that. Um, the thing to note is that these this is a log log model and therefore and we should interpret this with the uh, percentage interpretation. So um, we can say something like um, if Distance increases by one percent, then house price will increase by. Six 
one percent Kendrick Powers. So that's uh, part B. Question C uh, is asking us to show that the standard error of beta 1 hat is equal to 0 0.048. Um, and then we're asked to calculate the t-step to test that our hypothesis that beta 1 hat is naught. So um, we need the formula for the standard error of a beta, beta hat for the simple regression. So this is equal to this, which is the, uh, the estimated error variance, and our, that is over our total sum of squares x here, square rooted. But we have to calculate this this estimate first. So this is given to as the residual sum of squares over our degrees of freedom n minus two. Our uh, residual sum of squares is given in the question and is equal to fifty four point oh seven. So fifty four point oh seven over n minus 2. Now n minus 2, it was 321 minus 2 is 319. So that is equal to 0.1695. Now we have this term. We can put this into the formula for the standard error of beta 1 hat. So that is 0 0.1697. divided by the uh, total sum of squares x, which again is given in the given in the question uh, to be 73.6. So the answer is indeed 0.048. And then the question asks us to calculate the t-stat given that uh, 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 for beta 1 equals 0. Well, the formula for a t-stat is, for this special case, will be beta 1 hat over the standard error for beta 1 hat. And that is equal to our, um, our estimate, which is given to be um, this one here, 0.3261, divided by the standard error that we've just found, 0.148, which equals 6.7938. Although not in the question, it's... Uh, probably useful to note that uh, uh, this is a high t-stat, so if you were uh, testing this at conventional levels, 5% level, um, critical value would be around 1.96, this is highly significant. Question D, calculate and interpret R squared. Okay, so the formula for R squared is given to be the explained sum of squares divided by the total sum of squares. Um, but we have to use uh, our other formula, so we can rearrange this um, well, we can just use the other formula there. 1 minus Residual sum of squares over the total sum of squares. 
which is 1 minus 54.7 from the previous question, divided by 61.44. Where did that come from? Well, that came from the question, the total sum of squares there. Note that there's a difference. Um, in my lectures, I didn't use this notation SSTX precisely for this reason, for the confusion of the total sum of squares. This term here, uh, the sum of yi minus y bar squared, that is the total sum of squares, and that's what I've been talking about in my lectures. This, uh, this other term, uh, SSTX, is different. But we want the first term, the one for y total sum of squares. And we plug that in and we get uh, something like this, 0.12. That's our R squared. And this means that around about 12% of the variation in L price can be can be Explained by mod. Not that high, but this is a it, uh, R squared is a relative concept. So um, all we can say is that twelve percent is uh, explained. So that's the end of question one.